Next. Uh, hi, my question is for Carl Urban. Um, I was wondering how extensive your training was for the movie and if you got injured at all. Uh, how extensive the training was for the film. Uh, yeah, well, as I said before, it was, I, I guess the process for me was um, twofold. One was really kind of learning a bit about uh, the world of the, uh, the, the CIA and um, we really had a, a wonderful um, uh, a tutor in that, uh, Bob, Bob, Bob Bear, uh, who's wrote um, many books uh, about his time in the CIA. And so he came and talked to um, Bruce and I about what that experience uh, was like. And it really, truly was uh, uh, mind-blowing. I mean, little tidbits to think like they can actually track you with a cell phone even when your cell phone is turned off. Um, it's, it's, it's quite phenomenal. So it really was uh, quite, a, quite a paradigm shift to, to find out what these guys actually do. And, and you know, he talked a lot about the old school CIA, which, uh, which Bruce's character represents, and uh, the new school of CIA, which my character represents, and, um, and, and uh, you know, sort of the on-the-ground intelligence gathering that the old school uh, inhabited, whereas, you know, the new school, how they rely on, on more on technology. Um, so that was a very, very interesting um, uh, facet of, of, of sort of exploring this, this character. And then the other part was just all physical. It was, you know, learning how to, how, how to fight and, and uh, f fight and, and, and drive cars and shoot guns. And we had the most amazing stunt team. Yeah, um, great, you know, um, great stunt guy. Yeah, we were, t uh, Buster Reeves, uh, was uh, was was a uh, uh, my stuntman and trainer, and uh, he, he's got like some MMA record for the most kicks to the head. I don't know, but we <laughs> we were standing in this room, and uh, he he said to me, "Okay," and this was day one. He says, "Okay," I'm standing opposite him. He's like 12 feet away, and he goes, "Okay," he goes, "Okay, Carl, I'm going to come towards you now. You tell me when you feel threatened." He takes one step. I'm like, "Yep, I get." He's like like this, but. Um, and what they did actually, part of the process to, to let me know about what the end game was in this fight, was they actually got me in a choke hold and just about choked me out till I, till I passed out. And uh, so that was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your question. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I was wondering with all the talent in the cast, if the director let anybody ad lib or even Bruce play the blues for everybody. <laughs> Didn't play the blues. Tried as much as, pop as possible not to sing. Um, I think everyone, uh, and I'm not sure if, it, if you could call it improvisation, but every, all actors have to make the words fit in their mouth and, and make the words fit uh, to how they say it and how you make it lifelike and make it look like what you're saying is just conversation, that you're just thinking off the top of your head. And that process is not quite impro improvisation, and, and sometimes it was, but we really, I think more than, than any film I've worked on in a decade, has stayed really close to the script and never changed the location and never changed what we were doing. It was always the same story from start to finish, and that, that seldom happens in Hollywood, Thank you. or in Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Hi, this question is for Helen. Hi, Helen. Hey, um, how was the experience of making this film different than you thought it would be? Oh, well, you know, I think it, uh, well, I think it was kind of easier than I thought it would be. and. Um, of course, it had all the complications and difficulties and long days and everything of, of any other movie um, and the discomforts and so forth, but there was an ease to it that I think we all felt. There was um, a pleasure in doing it. Um, I, and it, as Bruce says, it was a lot of fun. It, um, and, and I think that took me by surprise. I was really intimidated coming into it. I was really, you know, shit scared, really. Um, <laughs> But um, because it, it was an, un, an unknown world to me, an unknown, unknown genre. Um, <laughs> but um, 
so I guess the, the kind of comfort level, uh, psychological comfort level of it took me by surprise. Um, and it was great to have guns instead of words, you know. <laughs> Long speeches are like harder than shooting a gun off. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. This is going to be our last question to you.